guys, this is Cruz Roy with his uh, the 30V2 basket case. Uh, been having trouble with the blades. It was shaking a little bit. So I did some tape balancing and, and all of that and it still wasn't working. And these are Maverick blades. They have the little drill out on the bottom where they uh, balance them. It's supposed to be good. So I was getting that weird deviation that they weighed the same but put them on the teeter and they, uh, one would drop be heavier so I decided just to take the tape off don't even try to balance them uh, I put some red tape on this tip here now I'm gonna get into the tracking the tracking seemed a little off too so maybe it was a little bit of that too but um, uh, in the manual it tells you to use the double links here to adjust tracking on the Raptor uh, but on Raptor Technique, they tell you to use the long rods, which is the rod from the swash to the pitch arm on both sides to adjust tracking. So uh, I used these uh, before to track my other Raptor and it seemed to work, but I want to try the long rods. And uh, if you noticed, I got the bird strapped so it can stay here so I can rev it up a little bit and uh, try to get try to see the tracking instead of it flying in the yard and trying to figure out which blade it is so it's not as easy as a 450 you can hold the 450 down and kind of look at it but this one's going to be a little bit dangerous so I got to stay away from it and try to see the red tape to see which one's dipping up and down but see if we can give it a whirl here See if we can see the tracking. Yeah, the tracking looks. I got some heavy wind here. I got to deal with the windy day today. But if you notice, the tracking is. Probably a half inch off there, and this is that low head speed. So the red one's up. The red one is up in the air. Yeah, that's like a 450. You gotta wait for these big boys to slow down. So the red one is higher. So. If the red is higher, and these bars are set by the manual at 100, so the red tip is up too high, it needs to come down a little bit. So we need to tighten the long rod here. Okay, here's the long rod for the red tip. If you notice the way it's moving, the way it's set right now, the red's too high, so it needs to come down like that. We need to bring it down. So that would mean I have to shorten the length of the rod. So without using this, I'm going to make one complete turn. That's a half, and that's a full turn. Make sure your alignment's okay because one of these is 90 degrees to the other. Okay. Let's try that.
I'm gonna get my line all oily. Running a little rich. Red blade is still too high. Okay, the red is still too high. So that means it's flying upwards high. Move a link. And, and usually high means the blade is tilted up like that. So we gotta bring it back down. So where it is now we need to come down a little more. So that's that's tightening the rods. getting a little better. Now I've been bringing that one down so I think what I'm going to do is the other one I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to extend the blade opposite of the red and give it a little bit more height instead of doing everything on that one rod but these rods originally were set at the manual at 100 millimeters per cent of the center so This one's still low, so it needs to come outwards. Okay, so I brought that link to bring this blade up a little bit, and that one we've been working on bringing it back down. All right. Just want to reset the gyro. Igniter on. Running it rich. I did a motor clean on this. So. much better. Still have a little bit. I think it's still the reddest higher, but I'm 
red is still red blade still higher so I want to come back to the blade with no tape on it so this one needs to be rewound too let's do it I have to do it two turns because of the siding, but there is a way I can take them both off and get half turns. Let's just try a full turn. All right. That looks pretty good now. now. Look at the wind. All right, I'm liking that using the big rods. Now we got to do a test flight. Shut her off. She's running a little rich, so she's gonna shut down on idle. That's okay. Get an engine clean, so I'm trying to keep some oil flowing through there. Now, let me shut them off for a minute. And take the strap off here. And yeah, she's got plenty coming through. Take the strap off. I don't recommend doing this. I, you gotta be safe. But a nitro doing blade tracking is kind of tough if it's just flying in the yard and you're trying to figure out which line is red unless you use some real heavy, you know, red tape that you can actually see from a distance. But uh, let me get this put away, put the canopy on, and like I said, it is a very, very windy day. Uh, she should fly stable though. Give her a try. Took my million dollar canopy off though, just in case. No custom canopy today. custom canopy today not with the blades wobbling and everything but hopefully we figured out the problem I took all the tape off let the Maverick blades do their thing on their own just added some red tape and uh, glow igniter gyro on Find my on switch. Okay. Nitro on. Let's see how she goes.
the tracking look. Tracking looks pretty good now. I'm centered here. I got rudder adjustment I need. adjust the rudder here. I gotta keep putting right input. Alright, well I gotta fix the gyro so that's another segment but um, that was blade tracking. Alright, so this is Cruise Roy uh, with the Raptor on a noob's way of doing the uh, blade tracking and I'm gonna put the glasses down now and do a little flying today it's nice and uh, I hope it helps someone this is Cruise Roy and I'm out of here <laughs>